Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Brokerman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead or Let's Play as Persia. And in the, this episode, I'm going to take a bit of a breather from being at war with the Ottomans all the time, gather up our strength, take out Dagestan, and once we do that, I'd like to develop two armies, one push towards Ankara, one push towards Damascus, to deliver the knockout blow against the Ottomans. We're now trading, but we've got some space to start to actually... Um, do some research. Actually, you are full strength. Okay, let's take... Actually, that's not a bad position to be in. Um, yes, but we're gathering our strength up here, ready to attack the Dagestan heartlands. We might even attack that army first outside of the city, so that the territory we have to deal with is actually um, less strong. Actually, the Semni may come up here as well. But what I'm really hoping to do is crank through some turns and upgrade some of our basic infrastructure, upgrade some of our government buildings and military production. This is the first time we're not at war with a major power we have to worry about. And at least this time, we've got a really good, strong army in Baghdad. So that's really good. That's really, really good. I mean, ultimately, the peace is only temporary. The Ottomans are going to declare war on us again at some point. But at least this time, we've got some really strong up forces to oppose them. Hopefully, they go to war with somebody else and they actually pull them. They end up pulling troops west. So the Mughals are still sparring with the Marathas, which is fine. If they want to steal my tech, that's completely okay. Um, I'm, I'm again, I'm more than happy to sell them technology as I get it, because I don't want them to. I don't want them to win against the Marathas too quickly, but I don't want them to lose really fast either. Because when the Mughals collapse, they collapse. Then that means it's another front that I have to prepare to defend, which is not great. Particularly as I'll be relying on, relying on out-hoarding a horde. I've got a first Imam. So... Yeah, you're going to go to Yerevan to convert their people to the wonders of Islam. There we go, 1.5% a turn. Georgia slowly coming around. We're actually going to tax Georgia now, because that doesn't impact their, um, their happiness. Yerevan's got basic roads. Mosul has built... Well, we built a craft workshop in Mosul. Okay, everybody grow. Everybody combine. I'm curious to see what they get. I don't mind if they build fortifications. That's actually kind of helpful to us. Recruit some musketeers. Actually, is it musketeers I've got? One, two... Actually, I've got enough shooty guys. I probably want... Pike unit and a... Feline unit. Again, I'm happy to build... Actually, build let's get one pike unit. We're upgrading a craft workshop. We're going to upgrade a, well, a military school here in Esfahan, because right now, yeah, we're about to get canister shot, which will get us the Ordnance Factory. But yeah, we're running out of tech we can research. Uh, don't, uh -huh. trade options. The Crimea, they still don't want to. Louisiana should, because they are a... Okay, what if I do tech and... Uh, that and I give you common land enclosure. Excellent. They like that. New Spain. Trade and I'll do the same thing. Have carbines. Great. Two new trade sources. 4,400. That's really good. Okay. Right. So I want to upgrade one of my ports. See if I can get even more trade routes. And then use that trade trade to leverage economic upgrades. Uh, an alliance and money, no. You're at war with everybody. No. Do not wish... Actually, it looks like Poland's actually doing some good stuff against... Bavaria, against um, Austria and... The Ottomans. I mean, if Poland becomes a cool endgame player, that'll be really fun. 
I really enjoyed my Poland campaign. It's the first time I'd ever played Poland, and I thought it was really fun. Well, actually, I think this turn I need to upgrade one of my... Upgrade my most upgraded college to a university. Canister shot research. They've gone on to grenades, and that's fine. So you're still a school, but I need to upgrade you to a traditional university. To upgrade... That's a bunch of technologies to get. Yeah, I'd be, I am very much going to run out of things. He bumped it, crashed into that guy. Okay, you get up. Then this army will just lay siege to Taki. I have no intention of actually assaulting it. They're just going to lay siege. Uh, we can upgrade a farm. Any safer farms to upgrade? Ooh, my shirt has grown, but not into anything I want yet. Unless I want another... Yeah, I might get another happiness. Might get another coffee house. Just because uh, Clamber for Reform is going to go up a lot. It's got two universities in this town. Economy. Oh, I'm, I'm growing my army roughly at the speed that my economy grows. So I'm not actually able to get that much wealth out of it. But the smiths will be done next turn. That'll be good. Good, good, good. Ottomans are doing stuff. They're moving more troops into the Middle East. Again, that's all fine. That's all good stuff. I just really... I, need, I might need to upgrade some roads to cobblestone roads. Yeah, really, I just wanted to upgrade that, called that um, the college to the, to the traditional university because... It does give me access to a lot more philosophical technologies, which just provide constant upward pressure on your economy, which is lovely. It's it's my favourite thing. Government by consent. So they go on to four field crop rotation. So there we go. So we've got some some of the most, some of these technologies we can start to research. I might actually have to research upgrade a craft workshop first. I want roads, but we're going to run out of things we can. Uh, we're going to run out of things we can research. Although you'll soon get one turn, I'll get me a drill school. Okay, I might be able to upgrade some of these roads to cobble stone, cobbled roads. And upgrade the school of calligraphers to the school of Poetry. Okay. So they actually get line infantry. But we're going to be on the defensive, sat back, just lay siege to them. Okay. Just upgrade a farm, just because upgrading farms is good. No, towns aren't growing in Zahedin, but we only get. Kuzdar, we don't get any... No, oh, Kuzdar and Turbar. Okay, Turbar. Okay, we don't get any... Okay, let's set, sell another batch of technologies to... The Mughals. Uh, trading technologies, no way. Trading regions, I am not going to do that. Although I am just going to give you canister shot. Because that might be useful to help hold off the Maratha hordes. 4,500. Okay, we're only going to be able to do this for a few more turns. Then we probably have to declare... Well, once we've dealt with Dagestan, we end up having to declare war against the Ottomans. We need those territories...
So the army that goes to the south, they should be able to deal with uh, Damascus, Syria, uh, Damascus, Jerusalem, and Cairo easily enough. It's the one to the north towards Ankara. We're going to need lots of smaller armies to chase up um, enemy raiders. They're going to be doing a lot of that. bothering trying to get out on the trade regions although they do provide some good wealth I might send some out send a couple of send my send a couple of galleys so his pirates will get them if they well, if they're too weak pirates will get them or the Barbary well we're not at war with the Barbary states but yeah if they're too weak the pirates will get them which is okay I suppose if they get us a few turns of wealth. Uh, okay, so they're starting to sally out of Tarki. So we are going to defend this by deploying as far back as we can so their mortars are no good. It's going to take a few turns to pacify this region as well because Dagestan is... It's like Georgia in a way. They're probably they're almost certainly going to rebel for, for a turn. City, we're gonna be back here. Gun, gun line, gun line. Okay. Good. Got some semini, which aren't, aren't entirely useless. At the very least, they soak up shots. Not great terrain, really. We definitely want to be back here. We don't want to be up in the front. Not at least, not least until their um, until their gunners have abandoned their positions. I suppose you're going to go over yeah with these guys. Come on, mortar crews. Abandon those guns. There's no one to shoot. We're not going to shoot at you. We're not going to move forward. So here's a few blocks of enemies. They may even orientate my line like so. I mean, if you want to run your provincial cabin range of my camels, I'll do it. Actually, no, okay, they just ran towards my line. Fair enough. Fair enough, I suppose. All right, my camels have caught them. Kill them, kill them all. There we go. They're desperately running up, going, oh, nuts. That's not good at all. Your gunners abandoned. Yes, they have abandoned the gunners. The guns. Perfect. There's that swordsman. Okay, make sure I've got you guys beefed up. Actually, I need my... Really, I suppose I need the bulk of my melee infantry on the left. Because my right's quite hemmed in.
My right flank is going to be my anchor, and my left is going to be the line that sweeps forward. Yeah, they want to save their cavalry. Right, you fire at will, you should fire into the line of infantry now. Try this. Does a camel does a camel charge deal with take you guys out of commission because you're already afraid from being under fire? slaughter them. Get out of here! Let's see if you can shatter that altar there. Oh, General's bodyguard wants some as well. Although it's damaging my camels, but it's a good outcome. They wanted my camels, but they're gonna get my my fellaheen. My camels are gonna run around and smack him in the back. The Islamic swordsmen are probably better than my fellaheen. They're outnumbered, but they are individually better. But now they're shaken. They pull the old switcheroo. They get a gunning down. Is that my swordsman? Make sure they shatter. Good. Don't want them coming after us in the rear. Nope, don't let them get away. This is the guy we want in here. You guys chase after the garrison. Everybody's gonna go after the garrison militia by the looks of it. Fine. Get these camels back. They've lost a lot of health. The, the um, general's bodyguard's not gonna let them isn't going to let them go by the looks of things. Nope, they've changed their mind. I mean, my line is holding quite nicely. Okay, no. Get out of there, camels. The general is just bogging them down. Get going. Get into the line. Charge them. Okay, you guys are going to pursue them. Hillman, get into position. Roughly like that. Pikeman, get over here. The general will not be killed by my camels, by this unit of camels. Killed by another. Shattered. Okay, you guys advance. The general deal with them. Put my Pelleen off of the line. We'll get them back into the line rather. Camels move forward. Oh, general's coming in. My 
My line is too strong. The Kurdish hillmen are providing a devastating effect on the flank. Desert militia are going to have to hold fire while the two Fangy get into position. Now open fire. Give them a volley. Wait, is somebody stuck? Enemy general's wavering. Does not like being engaged. Provincial militia are back, but this is a nice little cauldron they're in. Up to the gap. These men are going to cover them. Those warriors are very tired. It's provincial malicious holding, although they're actually in a really bad position to be shot at it's by everybody except for the Kurdish hillmen. Oh, here we go. Push forward. Do or die charge for the militia. And the answer is die. Two Fangy holding them off. General's retreating. Provincial militia. Push forward, go get him. Attack the militia. We are going to continue just a little bit. So because we're not going to attack the city, um, the sooner we kill these guys, the sooner the back, sooner um, the sooner the garrison will be destroyed in future. So just get a few kills. Okay. Oh, it's everybody against this unit. Interesting. Biolock armed citizenry that have spread out. Let's get the camels involved as well. That'll help pathfinding. Well, mostly it's going to be my general doing the work. I'm tidying them up quite nicely now. 34 remaining. Nice. They're still probably... Yeah, they are still going to get away. Well, that's not terrible. There's about 20 odd men in that line, but it means that every time they attack us, they will just become even more and more attrited. So I'm not bothered about capturing the city immediately. And Kamikaze Barbaries. Hopefully the pirates are occupied enough in the Caribbean. They stop. They don't do any sneaky things. A Shashin in in uh, Esfahan. So push forward towards Baghdad. Coffee House in Mashhad is done, which is good. Okay, let's send. Send you out to. Okay, right. So who is the still ivories? In terms of trade, it's either sugar, ivory, or spices. There's a spot free in Madagascar. There's a couple of spots free in the Ivory Coast. The East Indies is unexplored. I might send you off to the East Indies to see what it's like. Let's recruit 
some Jebex to go out to do some trading. Let's upgrade the port in Bandar Abbas to be a commercial port. 960 cash. Let's get... Oh, that's nearly that's all our money. Keep everything replenished. Great gain. Courage leader for this general. He's done a great job. Right, I'm going to get... Become a, get I'm going to be a grenadier. Um, let's probably start ticking away. At, well, actually, I suppose, really, we do want... Um, Tehran on fire by rank. Kermansha get basic steam pump just to start upgrading our start again providing even more upward pressure from our industry. 4,800 some of these long term bonuses will start kicking in. Okay let's hit end turn. This is why I don't want to be at war with any of the Europeans. Just leave me alone. I don't want to fight any naval battles on the trades in the trade regions. I just want to have some spices. Okay. There comes their navy. It's going. It's just going to trade. It's going to raid. Yeah, they are bringing more troops into theatre. Kizilbashi musketeers and fly by rank would be a huge upgrade. Right now, none of my own. Well, my, my Israeli can do fly by rank. But I probably then want to start filtering out my Fellini musketeers and replace them with Israeli and Kizilbashi. It's Kizilbashi. They're an enormous unit that can do fire by rank. At least in Darthmore they can do fire by rank. In the base game I don't think they can. Barbary State's going to suicide again. Yeah. Desperate to get into those ports to try blockade them. But sadly, not getting there. And then another one. <laughs> Good effort, though. Another Hashashin in Afghanistan. Right, let's get you. Yeah, um, so right now we have visibility at Ankara. But when we eventually declare war on them, we will lose that. You see, you've got a farm. Some of these territories, they just don't. Their earning potential is so low. At least Kabul's got a couple of farms. Kandahar's growing. Do you get the Sublime Porte? 4,900. So much money. Okay, let's get the governor's residence at Yerevan. Let's increase our production of cotton. We've got 1,400. That is a few, an abundant farm. Perfect. You're an average yield farm. That will do. Send this Jebek out to... East Africa. Awesome. Okay. No text to worry about on the horizon. Got a military academy. And that gets us Kizilbashi Musketeers, which are really good. But I want my spies to push forward to Damascus to see what they've got there. Plus to get some resiliency on what's gone at Ankara. Although they're their economy is shrinking right now, which is good for us. Well, their capital, their capital is, uh, their economy is shrinking. Ours is growing though, which is great. Our college will be done in two turns. And we're going to be, I need to upgrade the craft workshop to get access to some of these technologies. 
Part of the reason why the industrial techs are so handy is because a lot of the time they are just flat um, wealth upgrades. Like they're not even, um, you know, you have to build this or it's a it's a bonus for something that you might do in future. It's no, nope, I am going to get the benefit of this right now. A sheer, just a complete bonus, income bonus, which is lovely. And to be honest, what I should, I should probably do as the Persians is do a lot more raiding. Like take my get unit of Zimandari cavalry and then just start rampaging around their territories. Oh, the Mughals have had a rebellion, they're now a republic, so that makes them a little less likely to like us, because we're an absolute monarchy. Oh, I think that makes them a republic. I think that's the flag they get. More kamikaze barbaries, although not entirely. Pirates are going to pirate. Another Hashachin in Persia. Right. Send you to Jerusalem. Two of our fleets have arrived. Oh, bit of a catch up. There we go. Okay. Sit on the trade post. Okay, so. That seat position is occupied. This one is not. Get a couple of extra goods, 5,700. Good. But again, we it's, it's a large amount of money. But we need to remember, that is... It's not real money. We need to use it to build up our economy. It's not... Yeah, it's, it's not real. Get the Bay's Mansion and get the... We might just get the tulip gardens because our research is off, is just cranking up. Although it is, Sultan's Observatory does get us, it doesn't produce more wealth per turn. So we've got roads, Baghdad's got the school of poetry. Okay, let's get a barracks in Baghdad. Actually, that's not. Let's recruit our first two units of Kizwabashi. Musketeers, we'll get them over to Baghdad, we'll disband a couple of these militia units, and then we'll be off. So, what have they got, Damascus? Fertile ground, plus one zeal when converting in Europe. Awesome. So, we built get two roads and a school of poetry, that's good. The college is going to be upgraded in one turn, so. Kermansha is going to start researching some of these technologies to keep Tehran working on fire by rank. Increases our upkeep, but what are you going to do? Uh, oh, okay. They are losing ground fast. Yeah, they are a republic. Okay, actually, if you deal with... Oh, no. I need these two armies to drive west. I might have to start building up and building up some troops to defend the south. And then we're going to be in trouble because the Marathas are going to be able to choke off my trade economy really easily. They're going to be able to build fleets to blockade my ports and I'm not going to be able to stop them. So victory will then come on the battlefield which will rely on me having a good economy and solid... Um, solid technologies backing them up like good artillery good firing drills good cavalry okay this war may start sooner rather than later although it can't really start until Dagestan gives up or at least Dagestan is under control because then my northern territories become vulnerable to Ottoman raids And also, I haven't checked what allies they're with. This could cause some problems. Okay, 
Dagestan is going to sally one last time. At least we'll have enough money to reinforce the army, upgrade or repair the government building, and we'll have the freedom to exempt them from tax as well. And then we'll be able to see if that's enough to stop them from rebelling. We'll have to see. It's a, not a gamble. It's just it, it'll take a few turns to bring them into our sphere of influence. And again, just like last time, do not want to fight up front. You're coming to us. I don't care if you're weak. It's gonna happen. You're gonna come to us. Considering they're a lot weaker, I imagine our firepower is gonna be a lot more. Oh god, nope. Push forward! Got to push. Their mortars are deployed out front. Helene, push forward. Camels, push forward. They realised if they sit back and do the same thing again, bad things will happen. Okay, there will do while these blank elements get into position. Yeah, you'll be okay going that way. Well, I'm going to pour, pour shots into that provincial cav unit. Yeah. We've lost a bunch of guys immediately. they're going to get the last final volley from this unit. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately gone. There's another provincial curved unit. Are you going to try trying to trick me into, a, into an assault? I think they are. I think they're like, no, we want, we want to get back inside, please. So my camels are going to have to come in to stop that from happening. Yeah, they are. They're running back in. Big mistake deploying outside then, buddy boys. Okay, do you want to make this into, an, into a siege assault? Helene, scale the walls. Pikeman, get up to the breach. There's the warriors, attack that general's bodyguard. I think you can just get in and avoid what avoid what you've just caused. You started this. You declared war on me, Dagestan. You could have just not done that, but you did. To the gatehouse just so that it is, it, we, it is ours. Push my pikemen in. The camels are hacking their way through. Another unit 
broken. That's another unit gone. Garrison the Islamic Swordsman are the only unit left. And they too have broken. You fools thought you could protect yourself. You were wrong. Okay, so this territory should be ours. Good. Now we have to hold it. Ow. Um, that wasn't enough. I require more Barbary states. Um, oh no, actually they, they actually made it. It's only if they go after Venice that this port can intercept. Interesting. Oh no, pirates. Basic steam pump researched. Okay, command share. Okay, what if command share gets up, picks up um, fire by rank? It's not an enormous rush. I haven't got a huge amount of units that can actually do anything with it yet. So if I were to declare war against the Ottoman Empire. No, they have no allies. Except, well, the Barbary States and the Crimean Carnate would cause problems with us. And then, so you're minus eight. Exemption from tax is minus seven. That's probably not going to be enough. None of you guys have bonuses to garrison policing bonus. Nope, you're just going to have to hold on. Um, okay, so who is... Well, no, I, really, I need my spies up here. I want to see what they've got. So they've got... They do have an army up here at Damascus. Full stack army, but we've got this cannonball. This army that can cannonball its way through. 2,900. We'll lose trade immediately. You can't trade those... Fur furs yet, I don't think. No, we are trading them. So I think that's our only fur fur trapper post. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, then let's add more furs to the market. No, I need to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Add more furs to market. Commercial ports, traditional university, talented farms, researched. We've, our trade agreement with Austria has been is gone. Well, let's see if we can get that back. Yeah, we can. Do we? Uh, do we? Do we trade with the Mar with the Mughals? With the Marathas, sorry. Not ideal because that is helping them. But I think the Mughals are on the way out. But at the very least, if they do attack us, we've got some time as they work their way through. But yeah, I think we need to start. We need to deal with the Ottomans sooner rather than later. Just, uh, just get over it. Don't hate us. Don't hate us because you hate us. At the very least, we can recruit Kizilbashi units from Persia, so when that war does kick off, we can send troops eastward. Yeah, bringing more troops in from Istanbul. Okay. Yeah, we do have to try and... Well, it's kind of a double-edged sword, really. You take um, you take the likes of Cairo and so on, but all you do is open up your coastline from invasion by European powers. So if we do capture them, we're not going to be able to redeploy forces east. We're going to still have to recruit more of them. We're just going to have the economy able to support it, at least.
workers have rioted and they've broken down the very building that keeps them happy. But they're down to minus two at least. Okay, 2600. Well, really, you need to just get here. I mean, as they've gone west, we kind of have to go for it. So we have to go. Sorry, Ottoman Empire. We're very friendly. But we're going to declare war on you. We're not going to call in our allies to help. Well, our trade with them is over land anyway. Right, bring you men into battle. Put these militia, these um, Kizilbashi units up to the north. Where's this other agent? It's gonna take them. It's gonna take them an awful. Oh, that's our, that's there he is. There's our guy. You're gonna also come over here. We need to try and um, intercept some of their intercept some of their generals. Really, that's what we need. Actually, why don't you recruit down here? Just recruit them up here at Yerevan. Um, let's upgrade. The mind. Although that increases unhappiness. Upgrade the iron workshop. And let's go back to our old game of. Can't sell them technologies because we don't have anything they don't have. Or can't make use of, at least. Okay. Let's take our. Jebek out here, and we're going to put them into West Africa because the ivory trade is booming. Uh, Madagascar, sorry. Mm, there's a Mughal fleet. Oh, they're doing stuff. Okay. But yeah, we need to we need to move on the Ottomans. We can't. Yeah, if we if we don't expand, boost our economy, then we're going to eventually get squashed by other people who are managing to grow their empires. Particularly Cairo. When Cairo goes, they are. Ooh, hello. See, that's the kind of thing we can't have. Uh, that Ottoman fleet, get out of here. They're going to chase us down. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we killed one, but got captured. Yep, yeah, there's just not much we can do about that. Marathas are going to take our spot. Uh, yes. <laughs> Not good from a relations with the Mughals perspective, but I think we're back on to thinking about short-term positions now. So we've got an a, a, um, Ottoman army to the north. That we can deal with. Right, how's that hit our economy? Oops, it's pretty good now. We, we've actually got a reasonably resilient economy. All right. So Damascus is well protected. Okay, they got a lot of guys with reinforcements, so if we're going to engage them, we're going to need you guys in reinforcement. We're all going to attempt to assassinate that general. No, didn't get it. Workers on workers on strike in Persia, but they're okay again. Okay, you need to upgrade both of these happiness buildings because we cannot. Upgrade one of these happiness buildings. Upgrade my Pasha's Palace to a Sublime Fortine. 
because we do not want trouble at home. You're just going to auto resolve, annihilate those enemy, those um, those guys. Minus four. So if I give you those two, just give you. Yeah, he's not. They're not strong enough for you to work for you to consider them. All right, let's take that camel unit back. Well, they should be okay, really. Next turn. So, new men come pick up these troops in Yerevan. Then you guys, you're not actually in range to try and attack them yet. Um, my infantry. Destruction. Okay, they haven't got much. They haven't got much here in Damascus. That's good. Like I said, their economy is shrinking. And this Shebek boost. This pot. This fleet here. 5,200 is not bad. Should be, should be okay here. What do we leave one unit behind to make sure? And you gather your strength here. We're probably going to fight over here, which should be okay. Got a lot of camels, but not overly bothered by camels. Alternatively, they may just run around us. Spain's trading away. You know what I said? They might just run around us. <laughs> yeah, they they see... I, I imagine they just want Baghdad. If I was a guessing man, that's what they want. Italian states clearing out their garrison there. Okay, right. Hmm. Do we go for a risky play? This is fortified to Hallenbach. Do you just shoot for Ankara? I think the answer's got to be no. You need to gather your gather some strength here. You need to start recruiting troops, especially cars, if in one turn we're going to get fired by rank. Okay, you need to go... You need to go here. I thought you actually... I thought you actually had the movement for that. Um, raid, raid, then come back. Try and assassinate him again. Got him. Nice. That's, that is a good outcome. Agent. Out of here. Oh, I was hoping I could sabotage their port. Base, mansion in Baghdad's done. The main thing is getting that built. Actually, let's get the other happiness building. Oh. Do not want to deal with a rebellion about now. Let's build a barracks. And a Yerevan build. 
Okay, can camels leave now? Nope. Take some time. Okay, you men group up, and then you're going to be in position to attack northward. I would like... Oh, really? Zimindari Horseman's what I want to run around, run around raiding their stuff. So you got plus one assassin. I was hoping I'd have the movement points to attack, but sadly not. But next turn we get five by rank, so at least these Israeli here are going to be able to pump out some good damage. I was hoping there I want to attack them from the right direction to pu to push them west, not attack them and push them east into my empire where they can just cause carnage. They can raid things and capture territories. Yeah, they're going for Baghdad. Baghdad or bust, that's what they're after. Which, like we've assessed, might not be a bad thing. We'll just take it back when they if when they take it, we'll just attack it and take it back. Because then we can destroy the army in one go. But then again, they do have extra troops. They'll just do raiding stuff. They'll they they might not necessarily sit in the town anyway. Hmm. We're on the road though, so we should have we have the we have the benefit of maneuverability. Oh no, wait, no, we don't. Okay, right. I think this is the I think this is I think this is the play. Right. Ignore, abandon Baghdad. Let's make sure we're not building anything and we can get that money back. You men are going to... Uh, you're within range to try and defend it, which we don't want to do. Let's get to the other side of you. Well, this could be a bit of a risky play. You pick them up. I don't like how you're moving troops over here, Russia. Do not need that. Raided, so we've got five by rank, and that's good. You're not able to help. But yeah, I think the play is let them capture the town, then capture it back next turn in another battle, destroy this army in one go again. Upgraded that, upgrade mine. The base mansion. Yeah, we can't build the Sultan's Academy. Build the Ordnance Factory. The 1600. Let's do. No, not you. That. 333. 4100 next turn because we are boosting our economy. Well, we're boosting our military, not our economy. Yeah, if we can lose, we can lose Baghdad for a turn, I especially if it allows us to. We can just attack it and take it back immediately next turn. We can do that. Then, with the army in the north, if they come south, gather with the extra troops, and they can start to threaten. Ooh, actually, right. If you retreat, do I want to retreat? I don't think I do. I think I fight here and just do a lot of damage to them. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for another Persia Ottoman showdown. Cheers, everyone.